whether stocks can have a late year surge or not. Let's ask two market watchers on two sides of that argument. BMO's Brian Belsky, he says investors shouldn't fear rising rates. And Cantor's Eric Johnston, who argues stocks are likely going a lot lower. Both join me live, as you can see. It's good to have you both with us. Brian Belsky, you're the bull. I'll, I'll go to you first. Um, this week, inflation's sticky. We learned today consumer confidence is waning. What allows you to remain bullish stocks? Well, thanks for having us, and we really appreciate our, the opportunity to clarify our stance. We remain bullish. Um, we think that U.S. profits are going to continue to be strong. I think the move back this week to U.S. stocks and the stability that the U.S. market shown, uh, considering the atrocities that the world is watching in Israel, shows you once again that. I think what investors need to understand is, is that rates are going to be higher for longer. We already know that. Elevated, let's call it, as we like to talk about on this network. Uh, but I think people really don't understand that uh, if you look at pre a global financial crisis numbers in terms of risk return uh, in terms of performance for the market. It is at least 300 basis points higher than post the great financial crisis when interest rates are going down. Interest rates go up means the economy is okay. And I think that we're missing this boat because we have uh, reared an entire generation of investors that do not understand that stocks can go up in a rising rate environment. Further to this, you go back in history, since 1950, if you look at when the 10-year Treasury goes up between 50 and 100 basis points, that is the best return scenario for markets, period. So I think that we're too stuck on what the Fed is saying, or more importantly, not just Powell, but Fed members. Uh, it's very clear to us in our great economics department that we're not going to have a recession. We're going to have a soft landing, mm -hmm. and we're not going to have two negative quarters in a row. And we're going to get through this. So I think a lot of the negative rhetoric, uh, quite frankly, in this uh, waiting for Godot-type recession talk that's really been in place for several months has really been misguided. All right, Eric, there's the bullish view. What's wrong with it? Sure. So I think that yields are going up for the wrong reason. So typically when yields go up in history, it's because the economy is strong. So that you have strength in the economy, yields go up, economy weakens, yields come down. One of the issues that's going on right now is that yields are going up because of two facts. One is the Treasury supply, which we've been talking about for the last couple months. We think it's a big deal, and that's only going to get worse. And the second thing is due to um, inflation. So you have conditions there tightening fairly dramatically. They've moved up 90 basis points in the last you know, few months. Sure. And I mean, rates are down like 25 basis points in, in a week on the 10-year, right? We're at 488. Correct. Right? But yes, still. We're, still we're 462 now. Yes, still quite elevated. The real yield is up to about 2.3%, which is a pretty dramatic shift um, over, over the last you know, few months. Um, oil is up for the wrong reason, um, meaning it's not up because of demand. It's up due to supply issues. So that's another headwind right now for, you know, for, the, for the economy. Oil's lower than where it was. We're producing more oil here than, than we ever have before. Uh, that's true, but oil is up about 30% in the last three months. So that's still a shock to the, to the system. And this is all happening. You know, the dollar has had a big move. That's also tightening conditions. And it's happening as the consumer is depleting their savings. We heard that from J.P. Morgan today, right? Jamie Dimon said the consumer savings are declining. Citibank said this morning said the consumer is decelerating. Mm -hmm. And we're in late cycle. So we are in the latter part of the cycle. So the cycle can be defined as the unemployment rate, which is at a historic low, and the nominal GDP growth that we've seen during this recovery. It's about it's grown by about 40 percent, which means you're more than at least more than halfway halfway through, and you're probably closer to the end. So this is all coming together simultaneously, while you have valuations that are extremely high. It's not like they're pricing in a slowdown in the in the economy. And so um, I think it's a pretty difficult picture. And at last point I would make is just that I think this Mideast situation is kind of showing that when you own equities, you are taking risk. And as a result, you need to have good upside returns in order to justify that risk, because there are things that come out of nowhere like this situation.